10 straight wins in all competitions, plays 10 matches unbeaten in Serie A. It's a meeting of the two most informed teams in the division as leaders into host Atalanta. 12 points out of Juve. It's given away here to Pasilic, who's done really well. He goes for goal. Sommer with the save. Miranchuk caught. De Ketelana scores. Andrea Colombo has reviewed the footage. Handball against Miranchuk. Bastoni, lovely ball. Lautaro Martinez. For once, he wasn't composed. Lautaro Martinez finding Miki Tarian and Damian scores as he did against Atalanta in the cup last season. Matteo Darmian right on cue to roll it home. Karnisecki unfortunate, but it's Inter who take the lead midway through the first half. Lautaro would also score in that game, he might score here. It's his touch for Miki Tarian. It's back with Lautaro Martinez and Darmian's going to get a second. At least he would have done had Karniseki not shut his legs in time. This is Di Marco. Arnautovic was waiting. Pasilic has lost out. Lautaro Martinez rattles the frame of the goal. Pavar. Here's Lautaro Martinez. And still. And he's found the corner. Lautaro Martinez grabs into second in added time. Kadniseki static, Lautaro lethal once again, and Inter, with only half the game played, might well be going 12 points clear at the top. Lautaro Martinez looking for Di Marco, into his stride. Di Marco almost caught out Kadniseki at his near post. Di Marco overhit it. Or did he? Yes, the flag does indeed. And the decision is penalty to Inter. Lautaro Martinez saved by Karnesecki and converted by Di Marco. Karnesecki with the heroics, but they're all in vain because Di Marco slots it home on the rebound. This is Sanchez for Fratesi. And for the fourth game running in Serie A, Inter score four. Roma, Salernitana, Lecce, and now Atalanta. Four by four for Inter for the fourth straight match. They bring up a quartet of goals. They put four past Atalanta without reply.